Words of the Lord given to Susan Davis on September 29, 2018. You are not safe without me. Children, you are not safe without me. You are living in an evil world consumed with evil doings, evil choices. Please come to your senses and choose for your God. I have blazed a trail for you to walk on, to be safe on. Why live such a risky life? You risk losing everything by continuing to look back like Lot's wife. She did not survive and you won't either if you can't keep your eyes off the world. Worldly pleasures are brief and all will lead to hell apart from my truth, my salvation and my will. This dance with evil will only be for a brief time in eternal history. Then there is eternal hell, fire and torment to pay for that brief embrace with the world. Stop chasing death and turn to the narrow way. Few find their way to freedom. But I can get you to the narrow gate if you come in close to me. Many die in their sin now daily unexpectedly without warning. Will you be ready to face me at the close of your time in this life? Give me a full surrender and I will give you confidence of your destination with me and the future I have created for those who love me. Come before you are called out of this life. All will face me and give an account of their life. Will you be ready for that moment or will you be found lacking? My hand is extended to lead you out to eternal love and rest. Come receive all I have prepared for you. Salvation cries out, choose the narrow way. Look around you. You cannot take anything with you when you leave the earth through death or rapture. None of the gold on earth you amass is coming out with you. But you can take one kind of gold with you. The gold you fill your vessel with. My spirit. Romans 14 verse 12 So then every one of us shall give account of himself to God. Words of the Lord given to Susan Davis on September 30, 2018. I am coming to bring you home. Here is my word today. My children, there is no one like me. I am inexpressible. Words cannot truly describe me or my greatness. I am coming to bring you to the home I have prepared for you. It is a place that you cannot fully comprehend or grasp. The body you now inhabit is limited in its eternal perspective. You cannot comprehend the incomprehensible. I have a place prepared that your mind cannot fathom because your physical body has great limitations. You exist in an environment which limits your understanding of the place I have created for you. To grasp the magnitude, you will need to change your physical existence to come into another way of life. The body you will inhabit is eternal and will never be plagued by death, pain, disease, pestilences. You will enter into a world of perfection. All will be restored and the human form will take on immortality. Corruption and decay, aging and illness will not exist. Addictions and sin loss will be cast away. All will be freed of the chains of a fallen, lost world. This is what awaits those who desire my ways, my salvation, my everlasting will. Life abundant is what I died to give you to bless you with. Sin will be confined to the past. Sinners unrepentant will be trapped in the lake of fire, forever locked away. 
These are the two unique, different outcomes of those living today. Life abundant or eternal death and torment. You choose, but follow me if you desire life. There is no other giver of life. Come into repentance. Search me out. Seek me and you will find me. Life is short. Time is short. Run to the narrow path. There is no other means of escape. I am He. John chapter 14 verse 2 In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 52 In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last jump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9 But as it is written, I hath not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God had prepared for them that love him. Words of the Lord given to Susan Davis on October 4, 2018. I want you to be ready at all times. Here is my message. This is a dark hour, filled with evil and malice. People fill their days with evil thoughts, morning through night. I do not enter their minds in the course of the day. Thoughts of me do not enter their thoughts, and so evil has consumed their thoughts. My will alone is the only true way. All other thoughts and ways lead to death and destruction. I alone carry my own to freedom because they choose the straight and the narrow path that few find. What will you do, children? Will you walk a crooked path or the narrow one? What way will you choose? To turn your back to me through blatant rebellion or to turn back to me for salvation and healing, love and peace? I want you to be ready at all times, waiting on me with a high level of anticipation because I have a great plan for your life that I am unfolding the moment you surrender to me as your lifelong leader, compass and the king. There is no other way to choose if you seek freedom and love for your outcome. My enemy only promises death and destruction. His path is wide and filled with many. These have turned their back on knowing me and instead want to live for themselves, always looking inward and never seeking truth through me and my everlasting ways. The hour draws nigh for my return to retrieve those who desire to be in my presence for eternity. I am the purveyor of life and the truth. There is no other source of light. My enemy gives a form of light that is false and full of untruth. His light only distracts and blinds. Why follow the author of death and dying? when you can live with the God of life and living. You may make light of this choice now, but many have come before you who made little of my offer only to be turned away at my pearly gates. At this moment, it is too late for regrets. All will be lost, burned up, and death stings will be eternal. Why die in your sins when I hold the key to cleansing your record of evil? I have the way to clear your record and clean your slate. Come be free of all that has come between us and know me as I desire for us to be eternal companions. Let me rule over your heart and bring you into truth. This is the hour to know your God. John chapter 10 verse 10 The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I 
am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Don't get left behind. Don't get left behind. Oh, Iratia is coming. Don't get left behind. Don't get left behind. Uh huh.